Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you an updated daycare tour. So we recently renovated our entire house, like our entire upstairs. We started out with the daycare in the largest room upstairs and then I got pregnant with my second baby and we decided to move my son into the daycare room so she could have the nursery that he was in. That There's two rooms upstairs. And um, my son was not sleeping very well because he was in the daycare room and all he wanted to do was play with the toys. So we needed a solution. So what we decided to do was move the daycare out into my living room space. I live in a tri-level home, so it worked out just fine because we technically have two living rooms. One is downstairs and the other one is upstairs. So I didn't mind converting my um, living room upstairs into the daycare room since we could just go downstairs and relax as a family if we needed to. Um, so I am going to, in this video, take you along and show you the updated daycare space. Um, all of these things that I'm going to show you have worked really well. I'm really happy with the new layout. Uh, so let's get right into it. So when you walk in the door, you'll see this new shoe rack that we just purchased. It's actually working out really nicely. I have all of their names um, up there. They can hang their coats or diaper bags, whatever they bring in right there. And then typically I have them put all of their daycare shoes right in here for me. Um, and then the parents can slip off their shoes and put them right there. To be honest, I don't have many parents that take their shoes off though. Um, and then I have this little basket set right here for any stuffed animals that the kiddos want to bring uh, for nap time only. It stays down here and then during nap I just grab the bucket and I take the bucket upstairs and um, they grab their stuffed animals. I do that for sanitary purposes. Um, I was finding that a lot of the daycare kids were fighting over um, their own stuffed animals and um, you just never know what comes from other people's houses with stuffed animals, how often they're washed, so um, that's why we keep them down here. And then to the left, you will see our personal coat rack, which is obviously overflowing to the brim. And then my keys and my purse, I always hang right there. And then if you walk up the stairs now, um, I will show you guys to the left. Um, this is my sign in and out table, but to be honest, I never actually have them sign in and out on this table. Um, the tablet has an app, it's called Bright Wheel. I explain more of that in my day in the life of a daycare provider. Um, and they check their kiddos in and out on the app. It's usually not on the check in and out table, it's usually right on my main kitchen table so the daycare parents don't forget because when it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And then up here I have um, each of the kiddos' name. It has our first and last name, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to show it to you too much. Um, but each of their, uh, each of the kids have a folder and I put their school supplies or parent receipts um, in that folder right there, that file folder. And then those are just personal drawers that I use. Um, a lot of these drawers, need to be organized obviously um, but it has like a lint roller my Alexa like pens this is like my junk drawer um, so not everything in my house is perfectly organized as you can tell to the right is where um, when you walk in you see the main daycare space we have a tri-level home and so I recently um, decided we don't really need two living rooms we have another living room downstairs um, that's part of the reason why we decided to make the switch, as I've mentioned in the intro of this video. Um, this works out so much better, though. I love having the daycare up here. Um, during non-daycare hours, I can just put all the toys away. I have that footstool on the couch, so I can just put the extra toys in there. And um, you cannot even tell I run a daycare in my living room besides the play kitchen and things that are out. I want my husband to build me some doors um, that lock up at the end of the day for these cubbies right there. 
so then you really won't be able to tell. I got these baskets at Target. I was having a really hard time finding um, baskets that actually fit in these cubby holes. And so um, I finally found baskets for quite a pretty penny at Target that fit there. And um, those cloth baskets are there as well. Um, I got these because they're super durable. My kids kind of destroy my baskets. and. I figured these are cute but they're also really durable and they work really well for like soft toys, um, our magnet tiles, and a random piece of food that shouldn't be in there. Um, and then I have a jumper that I just brought in. Um, I kind of bring that in and out inter interchangeably. Um, up there I have my daycare license and um, my... Uh, fire skate plan and then that other sign just says if you have any questions or concerns you can call the Idaho hotline. I also put this um, pop and play play yard in here. Um, I use this interchangeably. I do have my baby who's only four months old so she does a lot of tummy time on her play mat and I don't really like her being in this main space with all of the other kiddos because um, I just I don't want them to trip over her or any accidents happening. Same with my crawlers. When I have to leave the room, I'll oftentimes put my crawlers in that um, pop and play play yard with some toys because um, I really don't want um, them to get hurt by my bigger kids on accident while I have to step away to change a diaper or um, put a kiddo to sleep. So I also have... Um, this colorful baby gate that I just put up and I do that because when I first changed the daycare space into the living room um, I'm super super OCD yes a daycare provider that's OCD and I found all of the toys were getting um, all over the house and I have all children under the age of two um, so they're not really at the age where they're totally 100% comprehending um, when I tell them, you know, not to bring the toys in the kitchen, uh, they they will listen, you know, obviously. They're too, they're starting to get it. But for me, it was just too much repeating myself over and over and over again. Um, hey, toys are hot, kitchen's hot, stay out of the kitchen. So I thought, you know what, this is a good solution. It kind of gives them one huge area to have all their toys. I also had a um, daycare parent comment that it was a little chaotic and during drop-off which he was right it was because um, all of the toys were all over the hall and I didn't want it to be a tripping hazard for my parents so I just came up with a solution to put a gate here and kind of minimize all of that um, chaos during pickup and drop off and sometimes I do open it up for them and let them kind of roam but um, for the most part it stays especially now that I have crawlers too um, it stays there and then um, I set up this picnic table for all of my kiddos that are age two and up um, actually age 20 months and up they sit on that picnic table and um, I do have portable high chairs that I show in my day of the life videos that I set up for my little, little ones. That high chair always stays in the corner and below it I have a dirty clothes bin basket to drop bibs and um, washcloths and all of the things we go through on a daily basis in there. Um, this is what the other side of the island looks like. I have my Roomba vacuum cleaner right there. Um, it's really nice too because at the end of the daycare day I can um, just put the baby gate up and it turns back into our kitchen and walkable space. Um, I will show you guys these drawers are mainly my daycare drawers. It's full of bibs, binkies, um, wipes for wiping face after um, meals. Uh, and then in this drawer I have all my paper plates. Um, all the cups, my bottle warmer, and then down below I now have, I have my own personal bottles for my daughter who actually does not use them because um, she will not take a bottle, she's exclusively breastfed, lucky me. And then I have all my pumping parts and the daycare bottles to the left. And then... Um, over here, 
this table is where, or this countertop space is where I generally put all of their lunch pails that they bring. I just recently got the Angel Care Baby Monitor. Um, I was using another one, but I just wanted this for my infant room, um, just for that extra peace of mind. And um, I have my essential oil diffuser I moved over to there, and then in the top shelf is where I now keep all of my oils that I diffuse and then the basket to the left is for um, it has a thermometer some quick first aid stuff and um, children's medicine for my own kiddos and then I moved my changing table into my changing table station into the restroom now um, so if you come over here, I have all these baskets on these, this above toilet thing, and um, each basket is labeled with the kiddos' names. I have all my parents bring their own diapers and wipes, and then I just put the wipes right here down below, and I actually take them all out, and I set them on the counter um, during daycare days um, so they're easily accessible. I still have my two trash cans. One I use for poopy diapers, which is the Diaper Genie. Um, and then the other one is for the wet diapers. Um, I just found that saves a lot of money on Diaper Genie refills by doing it that way. So um, I also have a little uh, potty seat. None of my kiddos are currently potty training right now, so I'm not really using that. Um, and then I keep my changing pad right here. And then what I do is I set it on the sink. Um, so usually I kind of like put it right there so it's stationary on there and um, um, I just changed my kiddos on the pad and use one of the wipes that are set out and uh, wipe their booty and then I wipe it down with my sanitary wipes and then we're supposed to use um, paper towels to wash um, our hands here at daycare and then I have um, uh, other things right in there for diaper changing and then my creams and stuff stay in that locked drawer right right there um, so that's kind of how I do diaper changing and then right across the hall in this hall closet each of my kiddos have a labeled bin um, and all of their overflow stuffs like their overflow wipes and diapers and a spare change of clothes stays in here. Um, I also have my school stuff for preschool right now and then my first aid stuff and our personal medicine up in there. Also this is like my linen closet still so I still have our personal kiddos towels up here and then all my cleaning stuff. Um, and then I do have um, my children's Motrin dosage. Um, and Tylenol dosage chart. I don't typically administer medication. Um, I can't administer even over-the-counter medication without a doctor's um, consent note. So um, I just have that there though just in case. I also have my parents sign a form and then as long as I have that doctor's note on record, um, if I need a reference I can open that and look at this for reference. But typically I don't like to administer any Tylenol or Motrin or medication at all. Um, right here is diapers and immunization. This just helps me kind of keep track of um, who brought diapers, how many diapers they brought on what day. That way if I ever run into a problem like, hey, you're using too many, like I, I can go, oh, well it looks like on the first um, you brought 22 diapers and I'm going through about five a day so it looks about right. You know, just just kind of an extra precautionary right there. And then I have on schedule when my kiddos are supposed to get their um, next round of immunization so I can remember to um, ask for an updated form or um, print one out myself on the system. Um, that way my records are always staying up to date. And then usually below there I have my daycare records, um, more of the personal information like the vaccine records and stuff. Um, I have a um, file folder in um, there it is downstairs right now currently because I was working on some filing so that's what I keep in there and this 
stays locked as well. And then um, this is my daughter's room. This is her nursery. Um, I have her own little changing station in here now, um, and my son's diapers are in here too. I have to treat them as daycare kids during daycare hours, but typically I like to um, take them in here like after hours and change their diapers more on like, you know, just their own. I know only their booties have touched that changing pad and it just kind of makes us feel like more of a normal family after daycare hours. Um, that is my daughter's crib with her mobile hanging up. And then I have my pack and plays. Um, I just keep these set up because it just, it, it's too much for me taking them down, putting them back up uh, during every time my infants need to take a nap. So um, that's what I'm doing right now as far as that goes. Um, and then in my son's room is where this is, so my daughter's room is where my infants sleep, and in my son's room, that's where the older kiddos are sleeping on cots in his room. And that pretty much sums up my daycare tour space. All right, guys, that is it for my updated daycare tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Bye.